<laughs> this is gonna be funny. Okay, so today uh, we're out here at the field again. We're not in Jason's uh, dungeon. Ah, well, it's a working dungeon. Our secret. That's good, yeah. We didn't show the other side where the cages were and all that stuff and the people. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so today we're going to talk a little bit about drones and uh, you know flying safe with them and and just using them in general. Uh, the other the other day I came up on a guy that was flying a, a nice Inspire and he was doing some some video work and you know he had his license and everything. But watching him land and the way that he flew, it just scared the out of me. You know, I thought, man, that's, that's not good. What did, what did he do that you didn't like? Well, he, he was he was like really low to the trees coming coming through. Um, he he didn't have a spotter. He's just out there by himself. And a lot of things, a lot of things were wrong. He had no landing pad when he landed. Uh, when he landed the Inspire, you know, they got a real nice camera on him, mm -hmm. and it's gravelly like this, and all the dirt was kicking up, and his lens was pointing straight down. I mean, it's like interesting and choice. So I was, I was nice enough, you know. I, I told him, I said, well, you know, you probably should tilt the bunch, tilt that lens up before you land it, so you don't mess it up. He says, oh, that's a good idea. And I thought, how stupid am I? I just gave the competition. You know? <laughs> <laughs> good job, John. You know, so, that's why is nobody? That's calling? why I need a job. If you have a job out there, I need a job. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, talk a little bit about um, the importance of a spotter. Uh, to have and uh, now you have spotters when you fly IMAC yep. and they, they sort of keep track of the plane and like if you have two or three planes in the sky at one time they keep track of everything around they're there. watching for other traffic they're reminding us what maneuvers next because we don't always have it completely memorized they're yeah. watching for obstacles all that good stuff yeah exactly so and that's that's exactly what we have to do uh, with drones. Drones, we, we need that a lot because yeah. uh, when you're flying a drone, generally you're not in a designated flight area. Mm -hmm. And although there may not be other planes, there is flight traffic up there and there are other obstacles. And you can have a, a bunch of geese fly by and if you're watching your drone, They're not which see is what you're coming. supposed to be doing, yeah, you won't see it coming uh, where somebody can tell you. And the other thing too, mainly, is that um, when you have somebody that's that's watching for you, they have better depth perception when they can look back and forth on something. When you're focused on your drone, you don't have any depth perception, so you're trying to fly through something, and it's kind of difficult. Yep. Um, I had one one spot where I was actually uh, parallel with a couple of motorcycles on on a mountaintop, or well, actually close to mountaintop, and so I had my spotter watch the drone so that they could see that the drone was flying between the trees. So as mm -hmm. long as they could see daylight on both sides of the drone, they know it's going to it's going to be okay. Good rule. And then I could follow them and you know keep track of the drone, but also look at my camera to make sure they're in frame. Yeah. And follow them relatively easy. Yeah. Now the best choice is when you have three man crew, mm -hmm. where you have a camera person, a drone operator, and and, you know, a spotter. On the drones that are capable of that. Yes, on the drones that are capable of that. Uh, some of them aren't, and sometimes it's impossible to have that. I mean, um, if you're tracking somebody, and you're doing, a, a, like if you're following a, a skateboarder going down the hill, a longboard going down the mm -hmm. hill, it's almost impossible to follow them with your drone uh, by watching your drone. Of course. You know, it's, it's, it's easier to watch the camera, make sure you have an instant relay mm -hmm. back and forth so you can see everything. But um, you know, you can do that if you set it up. And that's the other thing too is is planning, is prep work. Yes. Uh, whenever you have a shoot, whenever I have a shoot with somebody, uh, we'll go through it a couple times. Mm -hmm. If if I'm going to follow a plane, we're going to you know the planes like RC plane, we're going to go down the runway and he's going to show me what they're going to do, and then I'm going to follow them a couple times, mm -hmm. and then we'll go and we'll actually do the the shoot. Yeah. Uh, same way with a longboard. If they're going down the hill, uh, I want to you know I'll do a section, mm -hmm. and that's all we'll do. Yeah. And uh, the longboarder hates it because you know they're going to stop. <laughs> I got <him. laughs> I gotta walk up but, the hill. Over exactly. And over and over again. Exactly. But you know, uh, you have it all planned out so that you can follow them at that course. So mm -hmm. you get your pattern down, and you know where they're coming and how to cut into them, and just follow them around. Hopefully, the not too close into them. Well, that's that's the idea. But you know, that's why they have helmets. That's right. That's, that's why right. Yeah. <laughs> because they know you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, so you're talking about doing multiple setup shots. So. Batteries are going to be important. Yeah, batteries are extremely important. Yeah. You got you got to have you know at least a few in reserve because yeah. they take a while to charge. Yes. Even, even you know even if you have them all on a charge, mm -hmm. it's going to take a little while. Yeah. Um, which is funny because you know before we came out I had to do this, I forgot to charge the battery, so I was up all night you know charging all my batteries. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, so it's it's a good idea to have multiple batteries so that you can you can stay in the air. Yeah. But uh, a lot of times when you're when you're on a set or something like that, you have such a long break between things. You can charge up. That, yeah, you could you could almost get away with it. So this. good good multi charger is a good idea. Oh, oh absolutely. Yep. Yeah, you yep. want something that does more than one at yeah. a time. Yeah. Or you want many one at a time mm -hmm. so that you know. Generally, you want if you're going to have 
Like these, these have, you know, I don't, I don't have a multi-charger for these. I mean, they make them. Yeah. But I have, uh, I think, like five or six chargers. Yeah. So I, I bring them all out with a gotcha. power kit, power plug, and, you know, I can charge them all at once. But, um, yeah, the important thing mainly is, is having a spotter. Mm -hmm. um, when you land, tilt the camera up. I mean, you know, this lens and this camera is expensive. Oh, yeah. And so if you can land with, the, with it tilted up like this. So it's like kicking rocks back up exactly. off the ground into it, scratching exactly. it. We know some people that are really, really uptight about scratches on the lenses. Oh, so yeah, we try yeah. to keep them. They try freak to keep out. Them, oh, yeah, they, they freak, freak out. out. But also, uh, to have a lens cover on it, make sure that you have some type of filter on the front of it. Uh, that mm -hmm. way, if it does, because it is going to get hit. Yeah, of I course. I mean, you got, you got blades that are kicking all kinds of stuff mm -hmm. up, and eventually it's going to kick it kick something up into it. So it's a good idea to have a filter on okay. it. Uh, the other great thing is like this, this one here is from Goodman. And uh, this folds out, and you'll see it in a little bit, and it folds out to, uh, you know, three times, four times the size. But this is one of the best landing pads I've, I've found. And they're I've, weighted on the edges, right? Yeah, so they don't I mean, this, this yep. thing's pretty, pretty stout. And I've had it in high winds, mm -hmm. and it never kicked awesome. out. Awesome. Who makes that again? Uh, this is Hoodman. Hoodman. Hoodman okay, makes got this. It. And uh, this is like the best one. It's nice bright orange so that anybody that's flying over can see that there's a drone down there, you know, nice. if, they're, if they're aware of what that is, or a helicopter. You know, Helipad, basically, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, that thing on the ground, when you have it all opened up and out there, it's it's a good buffer to prevent anything from coming back and kicked up into mm -hmm. that. And don't forget, you know, not only the lens of the camera, but we're talking about, you know, damage well, And you're this. kicking up, I mean, if you're landing on open ground, you're kicking up dust that's going to get in through the vent holes, into the electronics. I mean, exactly. it's, it's nothing thing. catastrophic, but over time, yeah. it, it, you know, it and, builds up. And that's another good point is that when you get down, when you land it down, as soon as it touches down, you want to shut it off as quickly yes. as possible and just stop. Hold, just fold down and all from happening. kill the props. Yeah, because yeah, a lot of times also people will touch down and leave the prop spinning a little gust of wind hits it and it's still light on the skids and it It'll topples over there's a lot of bad things so yeah i have the same rule like when i get down to a foot and i, I commit to my landing i pull down the throttle i just hold down so once it touches down it goes cuts the, the props and we're and we're safe yeah yeah another thing too is that you know um the angle that you are in relationship to the drone is important too mm -hmm. But uh, that's a whole other topic. We'll whole talk about topic. You know, when you're flying, setting up the and, shot, and how, and all to, that. how to set up, yeah, yep. and where to stand and stuff. Okay. But hopefully that that helps you guys out a little bit uh, as far as the angle goes and and how to uh, you know get a spotter and a collar and uh, well, a spotter collar and a camera person if you if you have the drone that's set up for it. Yep. Which I would recommend. You get shots oh, that you can't get. Definitely. Uh, otherwise. Definitely. But uh, I think that's that's pretty much. Yeah, all we can that. go go uh, do some shots and get the landing pad in action. Yeah. And yeah we'll show them exactly how it works. And cool. Do that. So yeah. let's uh, let's go out there and get some aerials. All right. That's pretty good, dude. Oh, thanks, man. Nice, I think nice we job. Have some huh? good footage. I think so. Hold, too. hold on a second. You still watching? What the hell, dude? Why are you not clicking the subscribe button? You stuck around this long. Yeah, give us a like on this video while you're here. At least, yeah. And get your friends. Tell them to like it. Some people. You gotta you gotta talk with all of them, you know. But we still like them. <laughs> we still like them. All right. <laughs>